Now the major players in social media, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and you know how over time the major players usually consolidate into one big major player who takes over the field? You know what that means? That means that sometime in the near future, there's only going to be one social media site, you twit face. <laughs> social media is the solitary activity of typing messages online to mostly imaginary friends. <laughs> On Twitter, you don't have friends, you have followers. Now, if any of you have any tendencies towards paranoia, do not go on Twitter. I signed up on Twitter and now I think I'm being followed. <laughs> Smart idea to feature humor at your conference. And here's how to ensure it will go over well and leave your audience with an appreciative smile. I've been creating and presenting business satire exclusively for conferences for over 12 years for major companies and associations. That's why the content is always appropriate. Plus, I work closely with you to customize my presentation so your audience truly gets an exclusive experience. Now, I know for you, you all have young patients. You know, and all they do is they text. They don't really talk on the phone anymore. They do not use email. They text. You know what that means? That means that even when they're in your office sitting in the dentist's chair, if you actually want to communicate with them, you need to text them. That's the way to do it, I'm telling you. Sitting right there. It's the way you get meaningful communication going with the young teens. Right? Am I right? This is what you're going to have to do. By the way, you know, with texting, everything has to get condensed into short little acronyms. Here's a couple. I don't know if you're using these yet or not, but you're going to have to learn them. RAS, rinse and spit. Yep. Um, TWHAP, this won't hurt a bit. So because of our addiction to social media and all the things that we have to do with our work, we need time management to try to balance all this out. And one of the most important components of time management is multitasking. Now, as you know, multitasking is the ability to perform several tasks simultaneously without paying sufficient attention to any of the tasks. That's what <laughs> multitasking is. We can't even walk and text without causing problems. Did you know this is true, that in London, they're actually putting pads on street lamps so people don't hurt themselves? You know what we should do instead? If you want to text and walk, you should have to wear a padded suit. <laughs> you remember all the promises of how technology was going to increase our efficiency? Remember that? Did that really happen? Well, let's. Let's look at some examples. For instance, the phone used to just be used for making calls. Remember, that was pretty easy. Well, now you have your phone that does your email and texting and surfing and music, the camera, GPS. And by the way, how are you supposed to look at a website on your phone if you're over about 40 years old? You know what I'm talking about? You pretty much have to go like this. Oh, yeah, look at how CNN. Wow, yeah. Let me see what's going on. And now we have billions of apps for all kinds of useful things like grow a virtual chia pet, locate manhole covers while texting and walking, accepting collect calls from random prisoners, and there's even an app that shows you all the apps you used only once and you'll never use again. Oh, exciting here. I don't know if you know about this, a new app. This is amazing. This app allows you to speak to your phone. It'll transcribe your voice into a text message, send it to a friend, and then it will synthesize and speak the text message. Isn't that incredible? You know what? That's almost like calling somebody on the phone. <laughs> Here are some ways you can tell if you're on cloud computing. Your program stops responding because a coworker is sucking up bandwidth watching an HD movie. If somebody is doing this to you, crank up the volume on your computer and play the following clip from the Rolling Stones. Another big, big time saver I cannot overemphasize. The importance of cramming in as many acronyms into your communications as possible to save time. 
For example, imagine if you got an email that looks something like this. FYI, CFO needs ROI from SAS for SMP or GRD for FM, create SP and G, pub to WRS. Wait a minute, you, you actually understand this, don't you? <laughs> oh, this is scary. Then we have online registration verification. You know what this is? This is to make sure that you are a live, real human being that's signing up for, you know, whatever it is, an account to comment, whatever you want to do online now, you have to sign up and verify. And you know how this works? It says, please type the letters that appear in the screen below. And you're like, what? What? And you're just taking a guess. You're like, I don't know, just try. Sorry, that was incorrect. Please try this. <laughs> I'd be delighted to contribute.